But see, the thing about it, Allah Almighty saying the sin is not so much. The sin that, that's carrying you to hell is your lack of understanding of what's keeping you from reaching your destination. That's the greatest sin, not knowing and doing those things that keep us in self-bondage. So we have a society of everyone is in self-bondage, then there's no freedom. There is no, there's not paradise, there is no vitality. What is the vitality? Vitality is like an evergreen. During the winter time is green, during the fall is green, during the summer is green, during the spring is green. It's evergreen, it's always green. And regardless of what the weather is and who's coming and going, it is still evergreen. A lot of leaves signs for us. Those people too that are vital, they have a kind of a power that stabilizes us in their presence. People come and they go, and yet their, their stability still continues and they still stay on their way. That was the way of the prophets. That was the sign of truth. Because truth stands out clear from falsehood. A lot doesn't make us accept the truth. But a lot shows us that truth stands out clear from falsehood. This is what truth does for you. It stabilizes your mind, calms your mind. Relaxes your mind. It makes you think of the things that are going to be best for your bodies. Then your body follows the will of the mind. And it does those things. And now it begins to do things that are beyond its imagination. Then Allah Almighty allows your soul now to take part. Because we got all we are, we are a complicated being. We are physical. That's one law that are governed by some laws. Then there's the molecules and atoms of the physical, like the universe. There's a part of us, the mind, that, that, that is an energy that is directed by thoughts, another level of energy. Then there's the soul. There's another realm of reality. So why do we think that we may guide ourselves through our desires, not knowing what it is that make us up, our makeup? Allah says in Quran, but how many countless generations before them have we destroyed who were even better in equipment in glitter to the eye? Say, if anyone goes astray, Allah most gracious extends the rope to them until when they see the warning of Allah being fulfilled, either in punishment or in the approach of the hour, they will at length realize who it is, who is in a worse position, and who is weakest in forces. See, Allah Almighty, when he sent us here, and he put in us sin, the weakness. Now everyone is a sinner. Everyone is a sinner. But you have to realize that that sin is a weakness in which Allah Almighty has put in us and he told the angels to bow down to Adam. And the they, they, they bow down, but then they said, well, are they going to commit bloodshed because of that weakness that's in them? Allah said, I know about them which you know not. That very weakness is the door to our strengths. As we begin to stabilize, not being flighty, not being inconsistent, not changing like we wear clothes. When you go out in the street to work, there's one, uh, 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 that's one dress you have. When you come in the house, there is, when you're in your home, there's another dress. When you go to your bed, there's another dress that you have. When you go to your church or your synagogue or your mosque, there's another dress that you have. So we're always changing our clothes. But you are still the same person. Just changing clothes. That's the way our desires are. That's the way our mentality has become. Who are you today? What are you representing today? 
What desires are you representing today? Who can you stabilize today? Who can you guide? Who can you bring the truth? Yeah, we go and we get good education and we go become lawyers, doctors, and all kinds of scientists and all kinds. But we're not stable. We go on our jobs just to think of the material gain on the job. So then after a while, we begin to stop caring about the people around us. We start forgetting about them because we are forgetting about our own souls or why we are here. So when someone says someone has died, we're shocked. So-and-so died. <laughs> like nobody dies. Somebody buying dying every day. Anything that has a beginning has an end. But through the flightiness of our consciousness and our desires, we forget that our physical body only has a fixed moment on this realm of reality. And that's why we have to become acquainted with the eternal part of ourselves, the forever part of ourselves. And we have to do the work of the eternal being of ourselves and the temporary being in this temporary existence. That's what gives you the vitality. If your mentality in your heart is only in a something that has a beginning and has an end, then it is a frustrating, unhappy life. Then there's not going to be any stability and you're not going to know your permanent way of existence, your permanent way of life. You'll be going into mosques, you'll be going into churches, you'll be going into synagogues. You'll just be reading books and say, yeah, when you get close to God, then what you're going to do is read the words of God. But you are more than those words. You have the essence of your creator within you, but yet we're not in touch with that. We substitute that for something external and material. And that's why we have to always change our desires because that is not enough. It is not enough. It's not enough. That's why you see the faces, the people's faces are unhappy. When they're by themselves, they're miserable. That's why the suicide rates are so high. That's why the prison, the prisons are so full. They have made a prisons now a big business. Big business. Because the law enforcers know that the people are out of control. And they're not going to hurt what we do. So what we're going to do is corral them. Put them in concentration camps. Prisons. Three strikes and you out. No, you're going to have three strikes. Because the desires are out of control. You don't know anything about yourself. So your whole life is always looking over your shoulder because you're doing something not only against your soul, but against the laws of the land. No wonder everyone is unhappy. We have forgot about our Lord. So our Lord had forgotten about us, left us. When the time of the prophet, peace be upon him, he used to send out letters to all of the emperors and all the kings. See, because it's not just enough to be a king, an emperor, and you'd be happy. They also are asking, what is my stability? What is my permanent path? Because maybe through inheritance, they may inherit the throne. <clears throat> Still not knowing who they are and whose they are. The people around them may be just crazy because they're just, okay, this week an orgy, next week another orgy, with all kinds of abominations because they know that the people are just want their desires satisfied. 